So I think, I think this is day 12 of my 100 day reality challenge. Um, I'd like just to talk a little bit about my experience today and that I woke up this morning and I didn't feel like I needed to burst out of my room and jump up in the ceiling and just full of gratitude and love for myself. I felt flat. I felt like I didn't give myself enough time in the morning to meditate or I don't meditate very much, but do my affirmations or do some yoga or some running. I felt like it affected me quite a lot into the day. I was constantly thinking, what, what can I do to, what, what, what are all my things that I do to make myself feel so just absolutely amazing? And then at one point in the day, I, I was watching a film with the children and I found myself watching it and then I stopped suddenly on a, what, what, what can I do to make myself feel amazing? I, I was feeling good. I was feeling good watching the film and that's when I realised, Sam, oh, Sam, just stop trying so hard, you know? Sometimes you can't, you can't be jumping over trees and <laughs> feeling absolutely amazing all day. Just to go with what you've got and just be the best that you absolutely can be. And I was, I was doing my best. And it's just a little reminder for me, just, you know, it doesn't have to look like anything. Just be the best you can in every moment. Live in the moment. And the thing I just want to say is a massive heartfelt thank you to all of the teachers that are in my life, have been in my life and are yet to come. Um, you know, if it's spiritual teachers like Rhonda Byrne, Deepak Chopra, Carol Dore, uh, Robert Smith doing the EFT, down to the little three-year-old that I work with on a daily basis. They're all my teachers and just thank you, thank you, thank you. Until tomorrow.